Hey, 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 everybody. Today we are talking about magnetizing your success by magnetizing your ability to connect with clients so that you can attract them to you instead of you going out and chasing them. How wonderful does that sound? Pretty fantastic. So if that's what you're struggling with, finding clients, getting clients to even notice that you're around or how to get in front of them instead of chasing them or feeling desperation, this is the episode for you, so stick around. You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. And now your host, Melissa Jakubovic. All right, today I want to talk to you about the mindset around getting clients and then we're going to go into some practical strategies. The thing is that you have to be in the energy where you know that your package is the most incredible thing that your clients absolutely want. If you have any doubt around that, the energy of abundance will not be in your favor because you are holding back the feeling that you need to create in order to be a magnet for your dream clients. And when we talk about magnetizing our reach or being magnetic, we really are talking about energy. So I need you to be in the mindset first of what I have to offer is amazing and the people that I'm speaking to are the people that need what I have to offer them. And if you have these two things in alignment, then the energy of abundance is on your side. Now, let's quickly talk about energy and what that feels like. If you're having a bad day or you haven't slept for days or, you know, you didn't sleep well last night or maybe you got into a fight with somebody, you're going to feel a certain way. Maybe you'll feel sluggish. Maybe you'll feel fatigued. Maybe you'll feel pissed off. Whatever it is, depending on the environment and the situation. And then that is going to ripple into everything else that you do. If you ever noticed that if you get into an argument with your spouse, then you might be in a bad mood and you might snap at someone in the grocery store. You might snap at your kids. Let's say you snap at your kids. Well, they're going to be in a bad mood and then they might snap back at you later on or they might fight with each other. And it's because that energy is being passed on. Now, if you have an energy of abundance, to me, this feels like excitement in your belly. You feel like giddy, maybe you're shaky, maybe you're just like, ah, I can't wait. That's the feeling that I want you to have. And if you carry that feeling along with you, that is going to ripple along. So if you get into a fight with somebody or a disagreement or an argument or whatever, instead of having these negative feelings, you could focus in on what feeling you do want to have and you can control this feeling. Now, this is very important. This is an important skill to have when it comes to attracting your clients because if you show up online with self-doubt, you're not really sure if you're ever going to get a client. You don't know if your package is irresistible. You kind of feel uncomfortable talking about your price. You don't like being on the, the video, on live video. And then you get up and you go live. That energy that you're bringing to the table is going to repel, not magnetize, but repel your dream clients. So if you get up onto a live and you're like, hi, my name's Melissa. I'm an online marketing strategist and I have this package, you know, it's called marketing with intention, but that's going to have a very different feeling than if you show up excited, knowing that you are serving the right people. Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm an online marketing strategist. I can't wait to help you take your business to the next level. Do you see the difference? I'm sure you do. So I want you to understand that you have to feel relaxed. You have to feel energetically in alignment with what you are saying. The words that are coming out of your mouth need to match the feeling inside the pit of your stomach. So I want you to relax into this feeling. If you come to your business from a frantic point of view, a frazzled point of view, disorganized, shiny object syndrome, not really sure if you're going to be able to make any money, you don't know if anybody really wants your package, you don't even know if you really like what's in your package, you're not going to relax into this feeling of success. You're going to be frantic and you're going to be hitting walls at every turn and it's not going to be easy. In fact, it will guaranteed be a challenge. It will be hard. So we want to relax into this feeling. This is called the art of allowing. 
if you know everything is good, everything is settled, everything makes sense, and you feel in alignment, that energy is going to carry through and you can relax and just know that it's going to be okay. Clients are going to find you. People are going to resonate with your message. That's way more effective than frazzled, frantic, desperation type of energy, which keeps the abundance away. By definition, that's lack. You're lacking when you're in desperation for money. I need it. Help, please. That energy isn't attractive. So we want to attract our dream clients. We want to feel magnetized towards them, that they feel magnetized towards us. So the energy is the how. The energy is how you bring this to the table, how you share your information, how you educate your target audience. And the strategy of what you do, those step-by-step processes, your proprietary method is the what, the what that you do. So bringing the energy is how people say, oh, you're so friendly. Oh, I love hanging out with her. Have you ever heard those sayings? Oh, you know, it makes me feel so good when I see you. That's because you're exuding that energy. And then the strategy, the step-by-step, you do this, then you do this, then you do this. We're going to get these systems in place. We're going to manage your time, whatever it is that you do. That is your strategy, your proprietary method. So we're not hustle, 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 hustle. We're relaxed. And when you are relaxed, things start to flow. And when things start to flow, people start to come on by. And when people start to come on by, you start to feel good because you know that these are the right people. So you want to attract the right people. You want to make sure that you are connected to the people who are most likely to need or want your irresistible offer, your signature program. And that way you can feel energetically in alignment to your clients and therefore they are magnetized towards your message, towards the feeling that you give, the way that you show up, the way that you teach and educate. It's time to fill your programs. And when I say fill your programs, I mean make more sales, get more leads, and have consistent income. In my upcoming free five-day challenge called Thanks for the Clients Challenge Group, my team and I are going to show you how to fill your programs, make more sales, and get you in front of your tribe. And I'm not charging you a penny for it. We meet daily at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Central, 10 a.m. Pacific, and 6 p.m. GMT from November 8th to 12th. Everything we are showing you is to help you grow or scale your business and finish this year strong. Register now at thanksfortheclients.com. So you really need to get clear on who you are attracting. You cannot attract clients of any kind unless you know who you're trying to attract. So you got to get really, really clear on your niche. And then from there, just relax through this whole process energetically. So let's get really, really clear on who your dream clients are and how do they normally speak? What language are they using? So if I were to say, I'm going to help you get your lead generation system to a point where we reach all of your KPIs, your ROI is on fire, and your sales funnel is converting, that's not going to land so well on a spiritual healer, for example. I know my people, spiritual healers. I can get the same message across by saying, we're going to help you connect with your audience so that you feel in alignment with your offer and people are flowing to you so that you can manifest the business of your dreams. These two things are very similar, but the way I said it is very different, which means I'm speaking to a different person. So the way you would speak to a Fortune 500 CEO is going to land differently than the way you're going to speak to a stay-at-home mom of six kids. So think about who your dream clients are and how you need to speak to them so that they resonate with your message. Don't use the language that you want to hear. Use the language that they want to hear. Then we have to create your offer. Your signature offer solves one specific problem. I know we're very talented, especially entrepreneurs. We're the creators of the world. We're innovative. We think of new things all the time. A lot of times we want to start a bunch of projects and we don't finish them. Another conversation for another day. But if you could stay focused on one problem that you solve and you can create a package around that, 
You can create an offer, an irresistible offer that solves that one problem that these people need to hear from you about. They're going to buy because you're solving that problem for them and they already feel connected to you. So then you have to attract these people to you with the language, with the personality, maybe it's with your brand colors, maybe it's where you're hanging out and you need to build relationships. This goes back to the basics and I speak about this in almost every podcast episode that the two most important things you need in order to grow an online business are building relationships and providing value. So are you doing those things? Like let's get really simple down to basics. Are you doing those things? Are you building relationships? How are you building relationships? Where are you building relationships? Are you speaking to these people the way they want to be spoken to? And are you providing value? How are you providing value? Which social media platform are you providing value on? Are you doing it in video or audio? This is audio. This is value. I love, I love to do audio. That's why I have a podcast. Maybe you love to write. So you should have a blog. So how are you delivering this content so that you can attract the right people to you? And how are you building this relationship so that you can turn them into clients? You can't turn someone into a client if you just show up in their inbox one day, hi, I have this thing, want to buy it? It doesn't work. Maybe once in a blue moon it works. Maybe if you're playing a numbers game it works. Maybe if you messaged 1 million people, you'd get some people to say yes. But does that feel authentic to you? Does that make you feel like you're coming from a place of integrity where you're here to serve? To me, it does not. So you really want to be very clear on how you are building the relationship. Is it that you're sharing something vulnerable about yourself? Is it that you are motivating or encouraging or inspirational? Think about this for real. I want to know how you're doing this. Because if you don't sit down and think about these things, you don't ask yourself these questions, you might be trying everything under the sun and wondering why nothing's converting. You have a sales funnel, you're posting in groups, you have an Instagram and a Facebook and a YouTube channel and a blog and an email list, but you're still not getting clients. So let's go down to the basics and ask yourself these questions. How are you doing these things and are they truly in alignment with what your dream client wants? You have to connect with your clients. That is the most important thing that you can do because you are not a business if you are not bringing clients in. And this is a business, so we've got to make this a priority. Your sales and your marketing need to be a priority if you want to have a successful business. Now, just because you're putting your focus there doesn't mean that you are not attracting people or that you're not in alignment or that your energy isn't good. You can do both things at the same time. Both things can be true. You could be focusing on sales for your business and on being authentic with your target audience. You can be very genuine and you can share your life and you can be vulnerable and you can connect with people and you can provide a lot of value and you can focus on sales and marketing because you are running a business. So what I want you to do, this is my challenge for you, is I want you to create a piece of content that you can post on your personal page on Facebook, you can post on Instagram. I want you to create a piece of content that follows this framework. First of all, you're going to ask a question. Is this why you aren't getting this result? So for example, if you're a health coach, is this why you aren't losing weight? Or if you're a hypnotherapist trying to help someone overcome past trauma, is this why you are feeling stuck from your personal growth? I want you to play around with these words, obviously. Is this why you aren't And insert the result that you help your clients provide. And that's going to be the headline. You're going to write it in capital letters at the top of your post. Maybe it starts and ends with an emoji. And then I want you to just write freely. So for example, if you are a health coach and you help people lose five pounds, let's say in a month, is this why you aren't losing five pounds every month? And then you can tell a story. You know, I used to be overweight. I had a really hard time losing weight, I was struggling with my eating habits, I was under a lot of stress, I didn't sleep well, I didn't have any support. And then one day it all changed. And then tell that story and let people hear how you came through that transformation. That's going to be vulnerable. So you're going to connect with your audience, use the language that they need to hear and post it in a place where they are going to see it. So start with this. This is a really good starting point. Use this framework 
Because what's going to happen is people who are struggling to lose those five pounds, those are your ideal clients if you're a health coach in this example. And they see your post that says, is this why you aren't losing weight? And they're like, oh my goodness, yes, I'm not losing weight. She's going to tell me why I'm not losing weight. I have to read this. And that's a good start for you to connect with your audience. If anyone comments, start a conversation with them. Hey, thanks for commenting on my post. I saw you were struggling with this. What's going on? And just have a conversation. Sales doesn't have to be icky, salesy, sleazy, whatever other adjective that's negative. Sales can just be a conversation to get to the root of the problem. So just ask questions. Share your heart. Lead with service. And see what happens. You may not get a client. You may. You may get a new friend. Either way, it's win-win. If you don't get a friend and you don't get a client, you know what you did? You took a chance. You learned a process. And now you can perfect it. So if you want to magnetize clients to you, you need to get in their heads. You need to provide value. Use the language they're using. Connect with them. And show up like a real, genuine human being. I hope this helps. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmelissa.com. Hey, coaches and healers, it's time to feel supported in your business. Head on over to our free community to get access to my best resources for free. I'm talking marketing tips, business strategy, feedback, and so much more. Join now at magneticmarketingmastermind.com. See you there.